so far in math, we've always talked about real numbers, the real number line. Okay, so real numbers consist of, you know, you can either have irrational numbers, real numbers, or rational numbers, and then you can have integers, and you can have whole numbers, and you, these are natural numbers. So every natural number is a whole number, every whole number is an integer, every integer is rational, every rational number is real. And the next step up here is every real number is called a complex number. And complex numbers can be real or they can be imaginary. So imaginary numbers are actually used in electronics. So the imaginary comes from taking the square root of negative one. So the big thing that you need to know is the square root of negative one is the number i. It's a lowercase i. So if you find the square root of a, of negative a, that's actually the square root of a times the square root of negative one. And so we know that the square root of negative one is i, so that's why it becomes i root a. Notice that i squared is going to be root negative 1 times root negative 1, which is going to be the square root of negative 1 squared is negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. So example 1, simplify each by using imaginary number i. So I'm going to break this apart. I'm going to decompose the square root of negative 2 as the square root of negative 1 times 2, which is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 2. So this turns into i root 2. And then the square root of 12, or negative 12, is going to be the square root of negative 1 times 12. So this is going to be i root 12. I kind of skipped a step. Now, we learned in Algebra 1 how to break down the square root of 12. So I'm going to factor out 12 is 2 and 6 and 2 and 3. So I'm circling the prime numbers. Now, so this is, square root of 12 is actually the square root of 2 times 2 times 3. So you can take out the square root of 4 and put a 2 on the outside. So remember when you have a group of 2 and it's a square root, you put one of them on the outside. So this will be actually 2i root 3. So then letter C is the square root of negative 36. So that's the square root of negative 1 times 36. So that's i root 36. But the square root of 36 is just 6. So this is 6i is the answer. So complex numbers down here, oh, this is showing the complex number system. So a complex number system can be written as a plus bi, where the real part you want to write first and the imaginary part you want to write second. So this chart right here kind of shows the hierarchy that I explained here. So example two, write each in complex number form. So you just want to make sure that you write the real part first, then the imaginary. So the square root of negative 18 is i root 18. But 18 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 2 if I factor it out. So this is going to be 3i root 2, that's the square root of 18, plus 3. Okay, because 3 root 2 is the same thing as the square root of 18. So now I want to write the real part first, so it's going to be 3 plus 3i root 2. Okay, the next one is the square root of negative 75 minus 4. So I'm going to break down the square root of 75. So 75 is 5 and 15. You could have also done 25 and 3, you'll get the same answer. This is 5 and 3, so you have a 5, a 5, and a 3, so we have a group of 5, a pair of 5s. 
So it's going to be 5 root 3i minus 4. And then you just want to make sure that you write negative 4 plus 5 root 3i. Okay, the square root of 200 is the square root of 200i minus 6. But the square root of 200, if you break it down, 200 is 102, 10, 10, 5, 2, 5, 2. So you have a group of 5s and a group of 2s. So 5 times 2 is 10, so it's going to be 10 root 2. So it's going to be 10i root 2 minus 6. So that's going to be negative 6 plus 10i Oops, 10 root 2i. 10i root 2. And then the last one, the square root of negative 50. So 50 is 5 and 10 and 5 and 2. So this is going to be 2i. The square root of negative, or square root of 50 is going to be 5 root 2 minus 3. So this will be negative 3, because that takes care of that, plus this outside will be 10i, and then root 2. You can also simplify with operations with i. So the first one, I'm just going to distribute the, the negative through the second part, just like you would a polynomial with x. So the, the two in there get negative or opposite. Then you want to write your real part first. So it's going to be 6 minus i as your answer. And then the second one, you want to distribute that negative. So it's going to be 7 minus 3 minus 2i. Then you want to combine like terms and write the real part first. So it's 4 minus 2i. And then 5 minus 2i squared is 5 minus 2i times 5 minus 2i. So that's going to be 25. Outside, because I'm, I'm foiling, is minus 20i. Inside, oops, I'm sorry, minus 10i. Minus 10i. And the inside is going to be minus 10i. And the outside is going to be 4i squared, so positive 4i squared. So remember that i squared is negative 1, so positive 4i squared turns it into negative 4. So I want to do 25 minus 4 first, so that's 21, and then it'll be minus 20i. Okay, so this one is just going to be the same thing as writing 12i times 7i. So that's going to be 84i squared. So that is negative 84. And then I'm going to FOIL this, so it's going to be 24 minus 18i minus 20i, because that's going to be the inside, plus, because negative 5 times negative 3 is 15, and then I have i squared. So remember, i squared is negative 1, so this is going to be negative 15. So now I'm going to combine like terms. So I have tw 24 minus 15. I want to write the real part first, and then the imaginary part. Okay, we can also use imaginary numbers when we're solving. So if I'm solving um, this quadratic, I want to use square root. So I already have x squared by itself, so I'm just going to take the square root of each side. So remember it's going to be x equals plus or minus because x squared can be a positive or a negative. So the square root of negative 36 is 6i. The second one I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 first and I get x squared equals negative 50 and then I take the square root so I get x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 50. 
So the square root of negative 50 breaks down into 5 root 2, and then there's an i with it. So I've seen textbooks write the i afterwards, and I've also seen it write it in the middle, like this. You can write it either way. And then the third one is you want to isolate the x squared, so I'm going to divide both sides by 49. And I get x squared equals negative 36 49ths. So I take the square root, so x equals plus or minus. You can break up this fraction with the square root. So this is the square root of negative 36 over the square root of 49. So it's plus or minus 6 sevenths i. Because the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 49 is 7. And we have an i because we have a square root of a negative number. And then the last one, you're going to subtract 6. So you get x squared equals negative 18. So x equals plus or minus root negative 18. So then the square root of negative 18 breaks down into a group of 3. So it's going to be x equals plus or minus 3i, and then the 2 is left on the inside because the 2 doesn't have a partner.